right. So let's start off with telling us your name and how old you are. Uh, I'm white and I'm 19 years old. And then how old were you when you started taking guitar lessons? I think 16 or 17. <laughs> something so. like that. I think so. Oh, if you could, can you name three of your favorite guitarists? Uh, three of my favorite guitarists would probably be Steve Vai, Paul Gilbert, and Pliny. Oh. How has your perspective on music changed um, since you first started versus now? Now when I listen to, to music, it's a lot of like understanding maybe different chords or maybe different sounds instead of just listening just to listen. It's actually like understanding maybe like the principle behind it. Oh. So what made you want to build your own guitar? Oh, uh, well, I like Paul Gilbert and I really like this pink hair metal style, really flashy guitar. And the only one that they had for sale was $16,000. So <gasps> <laughs> the next best thing was just to build my own. So what was the process like, like looking for parts and actually building it? A lot of it was sitting in my lectures, being incredibly bored and browsing eBay. And then the other half of that was building it in my dorm room. So you would say like, how long did it take in all? Maybe six weeks. That's actually not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, and was it hard to get your parts? No, it wasn't too bad actually. I think the hardest part was probably finding like the body, which I stumbled on first, so it was a, that was easy. Did you have a specific idea that you wanted to go for? Like, just you you were looking for all these specific parts, and did you get most of what you were looking for? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was. Uh, the body shape and then I guess uh, it'd have to be the pink pickup. Mm. Did you run into any mistakes or did you have to learn anything like from scratch? Soldering. Soldering electronics was a nightmare. And how did you learn it? I watched my friend build his Telecaster and then tried it with the pickups on this one and it was completely different so I had to take it to a guitar tech to get it fixed. Oh. <laughs> About how much did it cost? A little over 600 not bad. What was the most expensive part? The body. And then after that, it was the pickup. How do you think it turned out? I like it. It sounds <laughs> it sounds pretty nice. That kind of stuff. First thing that caught my eye was the body, of course. Um, second thing after that was the neck, I think. It was just like a cheap like Chinese neck, but it actually feels pretty well. It even came with the Floyd Rose like uh, locking tuners that I don't use. Um, after that was the pickup. I knew DiMarzio made pink pickups, so that wasn't too hard to get. And then everything else was just from Amazon or um, Amazon and then like, I think it was Chicago Music Exchange. Technically it's supposed to be a pickup selector, but I don't have one. So it kind of works just like my Kramer. So why is there a missing pickup? So I had a Telecaster, a Mexican Telecaster pickup that I really didn't like at all. If anything, I wanted to sound like a Strat, but so I put it in, didn't like it, unsoldered it, and then just left it out. Oh yeah, and you just said it just sounded better. Yeah. Completely <laughs> without it. Yeah. You do anything differently? Neck pickup and maybe like a Floyd Rose. Okay. So do you think your next project would be something that has both pickups? Oh, I was thinking about it, but I actually might do like a Van Halen style again. It's just one pickup. I guess it has a dummy pickup, mm -hmm. but just one actual pickup. Oh, that's pretty cool.